How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. Also if you guys would head over to Twitch, follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there, I stream there at least once a week whether it be for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, Halo, or anything else you guys have to suggest for me to stream over there. Uh, currently I've been working on trying to play through and stream through Resident Evil 8. Um, and uh, as always we're going to be talking about uh, positives and negatives. This is going to be talking about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. This is going to be Part 5 and this will be the final part. This is going to cover Episodes 14, 15 and the season finale Episode 16. If you guys have missed any of my past Fear the Walking Dead um, videos they are in the playlist underneath TV shows so all you got to do is that or if you're looking for um, to just look at a certain video for Fear the Walking Dead you guys can just uh, use the search engine and you'll be able to access it and find it there easily so uh, episode 14 um, starts off with a flashback all the way to pre-season 1 um, we get to see again the beginnings of the zombie outbreak from the holding leader's viewpoint Teddy we also got to find out that he knew that the outbreak was going to happen, which is kind of creepy to know that somebody knew that the zombie apocalypse was on its way and what he believes in with trying to be the whole the end is the beginning kind of thing just was like, you know, 30 years early. Um, in episode 14, we got numerous callbacks to season four and the events that transpired in season four of Madison dying supposedly and constantly saving people um a character from season four cole he reappears um alicia ends up killing cole and a bunch of other people that were survivors from the stadium because they were crazy and they just were mentally nuts and they went from being good people to bad people and alicia had to end up killing them um, we also got a big revelation that ted the leader of the holding group plans to um, send off nukes and he ends up doing so in season in the uh, episode 15 um, Ted at the end of and Ted at the end of episode 14 ends up putting Alicia in a fallout sh shelter so that, that way she is safe from nukes and that way she can be a person of hope and love and compassion and aid in the rebuilding of society once the nukes um, are launched and drop. Um, in episode 15, everyone ends up joining forces to defeat the holding and try to prevent the nuclear submarine from launching the nukes. Um, having zombies on the submarine I thought was really cool and really creepy, yet however, the crew being zombies, while some people that were on the submarine didn't turn, kind of never explained. Like some of the crew people, they end up becoming zombies somehow. And then some people that were crew on there, they're part of the holding organization, the bad guys, and yet they then get turned into zombies. So that kind of doesn't make any logical sense to me. Um, at the end of episode 15, the, nuke, um, the nuclear submarine does end up launching 10 nukes. And of course, the big question at the end of episode 15 was who was going to die? And surprisingly, I kind of felt like it was building up that multiple characters were going to get killed off in episode 16 by the nukes and because they've already announced that there's going to be a season 7 and possibly a season 8 um not a lot of characters ended up ended up getting killed off um in episode 16 we get more teases of the fact that madison might be alive um basically everyone tries to find fallout shelters from the incoming nukes or they do whatever they want to, like Strand getting a drink, um, to, you know, say goodbye and try to survive the nuclear fallout if possible, or just enjoy their last moments. Um, Strand realizes in this episode that he is to blame for the nuclear launch because of wanting to basically have the solo glory of stopping the nuclear launch. And, um, of course we know that that didn't happen. Morgan and Strand ended up having to work together and uh, Strand's pride is just constantly getting in his way. Um, we get introduced to a new character, Howard, and he's kind of like this history buff, this history teacher that Strand meets. Uh, Morgan and Grace finally admit that they love each other and they ended up kissing, which is cool. 
um, Dakota, the daughter of Virginia from being the villain in season five and almost season six all the way through. Um, Dakota ends up killing Teddy, the leader of the holding, which I was like, yes. Um, the nukes end up falling and Dakota ends up getting turned to Ash. So I'm happy that Dakota's finally dead. We don't have to worry about her constantly flipping back and forth and may or may not kill certain characters. So she's gone. And then Morgan and Grace um, end up getting hit by the nuclear blast, sort of. It's more like the dust cloud. So the theory is that um, they're infected with nuclear radiation. So my guess is both of these characters will end up getting killed off sometime in Season 7. It'll be a slow process kind of thing. Um, but like I said, Dakota is really the only person that we know for a fact that got killed off by the nukes um, in the initial blast. Uh, we don't know it, the um, status of everybody else. Um, there are certain people that got evacuated by the CRM on a helicopter. So who knows? There's a lot of characters in this that may or may not survive in Season 7 and they're just holding back and making it where we have to guess. Um, thankfully, Season 7 will be coming out in this fall, fall 2021, so I will probably be talking about this um, show for Season 7. I've already talked about it for the past um, several seasons, all the way from the very beginning. Um, so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment what you guys thought of the season. Um, for these three episodes together, I would give it an 8.5. I felt like... There's some cool things, but it kind of was like it was a lot of build up, and then the build up was kind of unsatisfactory. Uh, overall, season six, I really loved. It's definitely an improvement over four, and definitely an improvement over five. Um, this season, season six, gives me like season three vibes almost. It has really great character moments, zombie action, dialogue, great villains. And uh, so, with that, I'm going to give season six. Overall, a 9.5, and uh, I hope you guys will check out my past Fear the Walking Dead videos and look forward to more coming out in the future when Season 7 does come out. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one.